Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wootton Bassett in the UK. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Queen's Beast series of coins, a very popular set of coins with some really lovely designs. Also, we have recently hit two and a half thousand subscribers and we promised to give away at this milestone. So, later in this video, we'll be explaining how we're going to be giving away this. It's a 2019 Proof Military 50p Restrike set. So stay tuned for later in the video because we'll be explaining exactly what you need to do to enter so there'll be some stipulations and requirements to make sure your entry is valid. But we'll return to that in a bit. The Queen's Beast series began in 2017 with 10 individual launches and then one special completer coin to finish the set. The coin set was based on the 10 Queen's Beasts, which were statues outside Westminster Abbey at the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. They were designed by Jodie Clark, a name which may seem familiar because he is behind the design of the fifth portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse of our current new circulating coins. The original statues that lined Westminster Abbey are now in Canada in a museum. They've been repainted and displayed there. You can also see reproductions of them. There are stone statues at the Botanical Gardens at Kew in London. So we start with one of the most iconic British animals, the Lion of England. This example is the five ounce silver proof and with only two and a half thousand of these minted. This was a strong start to the series with a ferocious lion which embodies majesty, strength and military might. We did a whole video previously on why lions appeared on coins, which you might be interested to go back and take a look at its origins. The next coin in the set is the Unicorn of Scotland. You can see this example, it's a one quarter ounce of gold, limited to a maximum struck of 1500 and priced at 750 pounds. This is a glorious gold rendition of this iconic national creature of Scotland. A creature that represents purity and strength. It is a powerful creature to represent a nation. Our third coin captures the last national creature, which is the Red Dragon of Wales. This is a one ounce gold bullion version. So bullion coins aren't limited in numbers in the same way that the proof versions are and they're produced more as an investment or for stacking. This coin is priced at 1,950 pounds. Now the earliest record of the Red Dragon of Wales is 829 AD and went on to be used by the Tudor dynasty who were originally of Welsh descent. It has been used in Wales to symbolize their power and authority after retaking control of their lands following the withdrawal of the Romans from Britain. Next we have the Black Bull of Clarence. Again, it's a one quarter ounce of gold and priced at 650 pounds. The Black Bull is associated with the rise of the House of York during the 15th century. During the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, the bull first appeared on the royal arms in the 1560s. We come next to the falcon of the Plantagenets. This is a one ounce silver with a maximum mintage of 5,650 and priced at 125 pounds. The design was first used by Edward III as a badge of the house of the Plantagenets who ruled England from 1154 with the ascension of Henry II up until the death of Richard III in 1485. The design features an open lock signifying Edward IV forcing the lock and winning the throne. The Yale of Beaufort is our sixth coin. This is a one quarter ounce gold with only 1,000 minted and priced at 650 pounds. What is a Yale though? It's a mythical creature that was the size of a hippo and had an elephant's tail the jaws of a boar with a white coat and gold spots. With its horns able to be moved independently so that if it lost one, the other could rotate into position and be used as a weapon. The creature was used as a standard by Henry VII, who inherited it from his mother, Lady Margaret Beaufort. We have another lion here. This stunning two ounce bullion silver coin, which is priced at 90 pounds, features the white lion of Mortimer. Used by Edward IV, who inherited it from Anne de Mortimer, his grandmother. Unlike the Lion of England, this lion isn't crowned and it's posed in a way to signify discipline and loyalty. The White Lion of Mortimer saw more recent use by George VI, who used it when he was the Duke of York. The lion features a white rose and golden sun, a combination of two historic badges. Now this is the White Horse of Hanover. This coin is an impressive one kilogram silver version and quite the handful. With only 115 of these minted, this is the rarest of the coins we've shown you so far. It's priced at 1,995 pounds. 
The White Horse was incorporated into the Royal Arms by George I in 1714. The shield features the three lions of England, the rampant lion of Scotland, the fleur de lis of France, the harp signifying Ireland, and of course the White Horse of Hanover. The horse is a spirited and powerful animal and represents wisdom and strength. One of the earliest uses of horses in heraldry was the seal of Albert I, the Duke of Brunswick, who featured a white horse back in 1361. This friendly fella is the White Greyhound of Richmond. It's a one ounce gold coin with a maximum mintage of 425 and it's priced at 2,650 pounds. This coin itself is slabbed rather than coming in the standard presentation boxes that we have seen. Slabbing coins is a topic I'm keen to return to in another video in the future. Now the White Greyhound of Richmond dates back to Henry IV, but more prevalently used by Henry VII and represents speed, intelligence and above all loyalty. The Greyhound is one of the oldest breeds of dogs present in the UK at the time of Roman occupation. The Tudor double rose featured to represent the houses of York and Lancaster. This might be the only beast in the set that it's safe to give a pat on the head to as well. Our final beast is the Griffin of Edward III. This is struck in one quarter ounce gold with a limited mintage of 1,250 and is priced at 750 pounds. Griffins can be seen as far back as ancient Egyptian and Persian artworks. A mixture of a lion and an eagle, this fierce creature projects courage, strength and power. The griffin started to appear in English heraldry during the reign of Edward III from 1327 to 1377. He was very keen on griffins, having them printed on bedding and clothing. The shield shows the round tower of Windsor Castle, which is where Edward III founded the Order of the Garter. We also have this 10 coin set of quarter ounce silver versions, featuring each of the 10 designs that we've looked at, all in miniature. It's a really scarce set with only 1,250 of these minted, and they make for a beautiful collection. Priced at £425, it's lovely to see them all together in one set. As promised at the start of the video, I said we were giving away this 2019 proof military set. Now, this giveaway will be running for a week until next Friday, the 25th of March, 2022. In order to enter, you need to be subscribed to the channel, like this video, and leave me a comment letting me know which of the Queen's Beasts is your favourite. Now comments that don't mention one of the Queen's Beasts won't be a valid entry and the prize will be redrawn. We're over the moon with how fast the channel has grown and we are very grateful and thankful for all your kindness and support. And going forwards, when we hit 4,000 subscribers, we'll be doing another giveaway. So now is a great time to subscribe to the channel, meaning you don't miss out on any of our videos. Subscribing is free to do. And as the channel keeps growing, we'll be doing more amazing giveaways. Well, we've had a look at the 10 Queen's Beast coins, but we're not done yet. There's one more, the Completer coin, to look at. The final coin to see here is the Queen's Beast Completer coin. This version is the two ounce silver proof, and with only 750 of these made, they are priced at 700. £50. The gorgeous design features all 10 of the Queen's Beasts around the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. The coin is such an intricate and stunning design, resulting it being one of the most popular coins released in that year. And if that isn't impressive enough, take a look at this coin. So this is the 5 kilogram gold proofed Queen's Beast Completer coin. There were only two of these coins minted and priced at £500,000. This was an extraordinary coin to behold. The sheer size of the coin really highlights the beauty of each of the designs coming together to form this masterpiece. The coin has a face value of £5,000 and the coin would make a fine addition to any collection. We were very excited to be able to show you this coin as not many people will get to see it, let alone get their hands on it. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Queen's Beast series, a coin set that proved to be very, very popular over the years that they were released. We do now have the Tudor Beast set, which is coming out over a number of years, somewhat taking up the mantle that the Queen's Beast carried for so long so effectively. So I'm excited to show you more of them when they come out. As ever, there are links down in the description to our relevant products that featured in today's video if you'd like to take a closer look at them or if you're looking to add them to your collection. You can also keep up with the Britannia Coin Company on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our products you can see. We're on Twitter and TikTok. There's our shop and online store you can check out too.